Hello there, it's Julia from Vile Inspiration here and today I want to share with you in this quick presentation how you can create your own fingerboard stickers. So let's get started right away. Firstly, the materials you need uh, it's quite simple, you just need some tape. I normally use electrical tape, but you can also find any other kind of tape. A scissor and a mobile phone or laptop, or a tuning device. If you have a tuning device yourself, you can also use that. So the first thing you do is to cut the color tape in three equal halves. So you take about eight centimeter of the tape and then you cut that piece in three equal halves. So you get really thin tapes as you see in the picture over here. After that, you will place the tape on the violin. And here you can see a picture. And on the picture you can see the distances that the tapes are from the nut. So you can see the nut of the violin of, on the picture. And then you have to put the first tape 36 mm from the nut or, nut or 1 7 16th inch and so on. So you put the three tapes on the places that you can see the picture right now. If you've done that, you need a chromatic tuner. And if you don't have a chromatic tuner, you can download it on your phone, on your iPad or on your computer. On a computer you could use the online tuner www.tuner.com. My experience is that sometimes it doesn't work as properly as the ones on the mobile phone. So if you have a mobile phone, try to either download Tuner Lite for Apple users or that Tuner Lite for Android users. If you've downloaded your tuner, it is time to check if your fingerboard stickers are actually on the right place. And you can do that by playing the notes on the A string. First you have to play an open A string and make sure that the open A string is really in tune. And as soon as the A string is in tune, you can try to place your first finger, so your index finger, on the first sticker on the A string. So make sure to play actually on the A string. And in that case, if you place your finger exactly in the middle of the sticker, you should hear a B. And you check with the tuner, if there's actually a B on the tuner, then it is the right place for the fingerboard sticker. You can use your second finger or your middle finger to play the second tone, which is the C sharp on the A string. So place your second finger on the second fingerboard sticker and look on the tuner if there's a C sharp appearing. In that case, your finger tape is in the right position. And the last finger tape is the third finger, which is the ring finger. You can place your ring finger on the third sticker and check with the tuner if you hear a D if you are playing a note. And here I have a small explanation how to work with a tuner for the, for the people that didn't work with a tuner yet. So first, let's look at the picture in the middle. In the picture in the middle, you can see that the tuner, and this is the Apple tuner, this tuner light, I, th I believe. And you can see that it is green, and green means that, the, that it is in tune. You can see that right now I am playing an A, and the A is in tune. So if you go to the left, you can see what happens if you place the fingerboard sticker a little bit too low. So too much in the direction of the curl. You can see that it gets a little bit red to, at the left side. And in case of some other tuners, you will see that the arrow is normally if it is right pointing at the middle. But if it is not right, it points to the left and it is too low. If it is too high, it points to the right, the arrow. But in this case, you see red stripes to the left. And this means that the fingerboard sticker should be placed a little bit further away from the nut. So you should place it in the direction of your bridge. On the right side, in the, on the right picture, you see what happens if your fingerboard sticker is a little bit too high. So let's say instead of A, you see B over there. So you are checking your first fingerboard sticker, which is a B. And if you see a B, but you see that uh, it appears red and it's a little bit at the red, at, and you see the red color at the right side of the middle, it means that your fingerboard sticker is too high 
and you should remove it and place it a little bit more in the direction of the curl. Make sure to not move your fingerboard stickers too much because the violin is a very subtle instrument and a really small change can already change the tone a lot. So just place it a little bit in the direction of the curl if you see that your fingerboard stickers are a little bit too high. So this was everything what I wanted to explain about fingerboard stickers. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because there's a lot more interesting violin videos over here. And if you really want to become a member of the community, you can also go to the website and become a member for free to get all the bonus materials and the free violin inspiration meals with tips and practice motivation that I send out each week. So make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you back another time. Goodbye! This lesson is part of my Violin Beginners course. And if you are new here, I wanted to quickly let you know that I made a free workbook for you that belongs to this course and video. You can download it below this video or by clicking the link that you see in the video right now. The workbook might help you because I add a checklist for this specific lesson, but also a ton of other information that you might like to hear about, such as personal advice and my top 4 tips to learn how to play the violin, free sheet music for beginners and also practice schedules if you really would like to join the whole course. So make sure to download the workbook if you are interested in it.